Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you not only a wig review, but to tell you about a human hair retailer that could be an amazing resource for you if you are looking for curly human hair wigs. She does carry straight, but she specializes in curly. She has four curl patterns. I have two of them to show you. The one on my head is the curliest. This one is the second curliest. I can't wait to tell you about Wave Hair Collection. You guys, I'm really, really thrilled to be able to bring you a resource like this. If you wanna know more, then please stick around. I will tell you everything that I know. I would like to thank Carrie from Wave Hair Collection for partnering with me on this video. I have been watching Carrie's posts for the past year maybe not even not quite that long, but she is a newish human hair retailer. And I spoke with her on the phone. I learned all about her story. It's amazing and it's so inspiring. I can't wait to tell you about these wigs. So Carrie has been losing her hair for a while. She has naturally curly hair. I think her natural curl is like this curl pattern. But she started to lose her hair and she was really struggling to find wigs that would meet her needs as a curly girl. And that's how Wave Hair Collection was born. And she has some amazing wigs, some great curls, and I am very, very confident in recommending her if you're looking for human hair. So isn't it wonderful when somebody has a problem and decides to solve it, not just for themselves, but others? And that's what Carrie has done. Now, Wave Hair Collection specializes in curls but carries straight styles as well and I'm going to focus on the curly because that's what makes her really unique but if you're looking for straight you can certainly check so let's them talk out. about the curly wigs she has four curl patterns and she actually has a grid on her website where she has a picture of her in all four. So it's like one, two, three, four. So you can see the side by side of all four curl patterns. Today, I'm gonna show you two of them. This one right here is the curly. It's the curliest one that she has. This one I will be putting on in just a few minutes is the loose curl. So these are her two curliest. Then she has a wavy and a slight wave. So. Loose curl and curly. You can kind of see the difference here. In addition to the four curl patterns, she has 11 color options. Now, she names her colors. So when you see a wig name, that's actually the name of the color. So this wig right here is called Mira, M-I-R-A. That's the color scheme on this one. So this is, uh, the way it's described at the website is virgin medium chocolate brown with partial caramel blonde highlights. You can see the highlights, especially outside or in natural light. It's a little bit dicey with all the light on me how much comes across but the caramel it's like an auburn caramel highlight so it's a real dark rich caramely brown with just some uh, slight dimension with those highlights this one is called jenna and this one is a dark blonde base with subtle bright blonde highlights now, in order to achieve the curl on these, she perms And them. because these are permed, that means they're processed. If you then add color on top of the processing, that's a lot of processing for a wig and kind of hard on the hair. So currently, this is the lightest color that she can offer in the curly pieces. Because if she tries to lighten it more blonde than this, that really dries out the hair. She's tried it and it just doesn't, basically how she presented it on her Instagram page when she talked about this is, the hair isn't then the quality that she wants to put her name behind and stand I'm so on. grateful that Carrie has really worked as hard as she has to figure out how to get these kind of curls uh, from perming them, but it does limit the colors that they're available in. So she has 11 colors. You can go to her website and see all 11 colors. Like I said, I've got Mira, and Jenna for this video. Okay, final thing I'm gonna tell you about the Wave Hair Collection, and then we're gonna talk about these pieces in particular. I'll show you the cap and everything. One of the cool things about how Carrie has structured Wave Hair is she has stock pieces, 
and she has a customization option. So she usually has pieces listed on her website in stock that you can purchase as they are shown in pictures. If you don't find a piece that's exactly what you're looking for, she has her custom curls option. And in that option, you have the ability to custom order a piece that's exactly what you're looking for. You can customize the curl pattern. You can choose one of the four curl patterns. You can customize the color. Choose one of the 11 You can colors. choose the cap size. You can choose, gosh, curl, length, type. You can choose whether it's a wig or a topper. She carries toppers as well. So there's a lot of choice that you have in making sure that you can get the exact piece that you're looking for if you don't see one that fits for you in her stock pieces. I just love that. I think it's amazing and I think it's a great resource. All right, let's start talking about these pieces. So let me show you the inside of the cap. Both of these caps so are the closed same. wefted. We have hook adjusters and extended nape. They come with a comb in the back and they also come with clips, which I've taken out of this one because I'm keeping this one. I will show you the clips when I take this one off of my head. This is the whole front and top is Swiss transparent Swiss lace. So we have a full, mon like a mono top, as it's called with synthetic wigs. All of this is parting space. This right here is a, um, what's it called? An, a thin silk this liner. This can kind of mimic a silk top wig. But I gotta tell you guys, I prefer lace top wigs to silk top for a variety of reasons. I will cover that in a future video where I talk about cap construction on human hair wigs. But I love the way silk tops look natural because it does you can't really see knots. I think this liner mimics that without the things I don't like about silk tops being heavy and thick and the hair falling funny in the front and all of that stuff. So what we've got is that liner which gives the appearance of scalp up here. That's the cap construction on these pieces. The cap is super comfortable. It fits me great. I have a medium cap on and it fits me perfectly. I get really good coverage on the sides from the cap. It get, I do get a, the tiniest bit of extra cap on the top, which is how medium caps fit me because I have an average circumference at 22 inches, but the over the top of my head measurements are very, very petite. So if your measurements are even close to my measurements, which again, they're in the description, I think a medium cap will fit you. But if you need help, please reach out to her. She can talk with you about your measurements and help you decide what size cap will fit you the best. These do have a little bit of stretch. They're not super stretchy, but they do have a little bit of stretch. The circumference fits me great. I just think the medium is perfect for my head measurements and size. I'm gonna do a quick 360 for you with this on, but I want to show you that these come with the lace uncut. I tucked the lace into the cap in order for it not to be distracting as I was showing this and for the pictures that I took. I've cut the lace off this one. As you can see, it's already cut off. So just be prepared that you're going to have to cut the lace when you get it. So this is what it looks like before it's cut. Let's look at this one from all sides. Did I mention I'm thinking of buying this one? <laughs> I absolutely love it. I just wish it were in a little bit of a lighter or more highlighted color. But you can see some of those highlights in the back here. I will go outside with both of these colors so that you can see them outside. All right, this is Jenna. Again, remember the color is the name, not the style. This is the loose curl so this compared to the curly let me show you these again but this way now and again this is the lightest color that you can get her curly pieces in currently i would consider this more of a light brown dark blonde but leaning more of a light brown in my opinion with a little bit of of blonde highlighting not a ton let's take a look at this one from all sides
Now something that she does with these pieces before she ships them out, let me get this adjusted here, is she does what's called a curly cut. What you can them. notice is this one has some long layers, but the layers on this one aren't as short as the layers on this one because this one is so much curly. So let me show you the clips that I mentioned that are on the inside of this cap because that's what you can expect to have come. So we've got pressure sensitive clips right here. Same kind of clips that are on toppers. And those can really help to keep your wigs secure if you struggle with wigs not feeling secure. Let's talk about density. So these I would consider moderate density pieces. They're not light density. They're not the heaviest density, but they're definitely a good amount of hair. And part of that is the curls. I think, you know, adding a curl pattern Gives it, it's a little bit hard to judge density when you've got a curl pattern like this because it makes it feel fuller than maybe the density would suggest. But one thing I do to try to judge density is I grab it like I'm going to put it in a ponytail. This is a really nice, it's kind of stuck on my necklace here. This is a really nice density for ponytails. And that's the beauty of wigs like this. You don't have to wear them down. This would be beautiful. And you could pull out a few little wispies, some curls, but this would be beautiful in a ponytail. This would be gorgeous. If you wanted to take it and do a little, like I like to do updos with a little twist in the back. And then I stick like a claw clip on it. And then you've got curls spilling over, so I definitely think there's flexibility with this. I just think it's they're wonderful, they're flexible with the lace front that you've got. You can do the styling up off the face if you want to. We've got lace, let me feel where it ends, from here to here. So all of that is lace, it's beautiful lace. So you can style it up off your face, you can clip one side up, you can clip both sides up, you can wear it in ponytails, you can wear it in a bun. I mean, <laughs> the sky's the limit. You can do anything you want with these. All right, I think I covered it all. Let's summarize. Wave hair collection started by a hair loss sister who had naturally curly hair and couldn't find something that would work for her out there on the market today. She put blood, sweat, and tears into trying to figure out how to do this herself, how to find trustworthy vendors that are going to send her quality pieces, and then figure out how to get the curl patterns that she wanted to carry. That in and of itself is worth something. And I love the choices she has. And you know what? She's new, so she's going to keep growing, and eventually she might have other offerings. But if you're looking for a wig or a topper and you want curl, Wave hair collection should be on your radar if it's human hair that you're looking for. I'm grateful to Carrie for sharing both of these pieces with me, for giving me the opportunity to bring this resource to all of you. It's so important that every one of us has a choice that works for us. For some of us, it's super budget-friendly Amazon wigs, and I show those. And for some of us, it's higher-end human hair with curl and color choices and I show that as well. So I kind of want to show everything and I hope for those of you who needed a resource like this, this was welcome news. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll talk to you in my next video. And here we are outside with Mira so you can see this color outside. We have bright sun but it's hazy. I think there are fires in Canada and it's making our air really hazy. Get you up close here. All right, I hope that helped. Friends, here we go with this color outside. We are in direct sunlight, very bright sunlight. It's too bright for my eyes, but hopefully this helped you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.